They're calling it the Australian superbug. It's a bacteria still in its trial phase, but already having success in cleaning up polluted industrial sites. Not only do the little critters thrive on toxic waste, but they're offering a natural solution to a dirty and hazardous job. Environment reporter Sarah Clark reports. On the surface, it looks lush, but it's hiding a toxic problem. This industrial area at Sydney's Port Botany was contaminated when chemicals from a nearby plastics factory leaked hazardous waste into the groundwater. So far, Orica has spent $160 million trying to clean it up. Now they're turning to a natural alternative to assist the operation. So what we're attempting to do is uh, clean up the pollutants in the groundwater by injecting bacteria that uh, degrade these pollutants. It hasn't been a quick or easy process, but these scientists have developed a bacteria that thrives on hazardous industrial toxins. So just like you and I breathe in oxygen, uh, these bacteria breathe in these harmful compounds and uh, exhale harmless compounds. Once the right bacteria was identified, the scientists then targeted those that did the best job. We put them through a boot camp. We use uh, natural selection. Um, it's, it's like a breeding program. Large numbers of the best bacteria were then injected back into the groundwater to get rid of the pollutants, and it worked. It's a real thrill to, uh, to realise that uh, the microbiology that I've been studying for such a long time can, can be of use. The process is also offering a cheaper alternative. Orica currently has to pump the groundwater from this site to another of its facilities to be treated, and that incurs costs. Using the bug on site and en masse is also better for the environment. They certainly are Aussie, <laughs> and they are superbugs, that's for sure. And they're superbugs that are already being trialled on other contaminated sites in Australia. Sarah Clark, ABC News, Sydney.